Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a custom header using the Divi WordPress theme. In this video, I'm going to use the Divi 5, the latest version of the Divi theme. It's currently in alpha, so it's, um, it's not released to the public yet. So you shouldn't use Divi 5 on a live website just yet. But if you have a DV subscription on Elegant Themes, you should have access to this new version. DV5 will be a complete rewrite compared to the previous DV4 version. So if you have an existing DV website and you want to upgrade that site, then uh, you should be careful and uh, follow the instructions of Elegant Themes. But let's get back to this uh, tutorial and let's go to the DB dashboard. I already have it uh, installed. If you go to the dashboard, you will notice a few small changes uh, compared to DB4. On the dashboard, you have some uh, overviews and uh, information about the theme, the available extra services. You will have a DB5 migrator options. So when it comes to upgrading your website, you should come here and check all the information here. Also the theme option design changed a little bit. The functionalities are basically the same, so you shouldn't expect uh, new functionalities in this uh, version. The Elegant Themes guys uh, already said that this is a complete rewrite and they don't focus on new functionalities, but improving the existing ones or completely change them to, to more efficient solutions. So right now, this is our header. This is the default DV header with the logo and the navigation menu. But using the theme builder, we can change that. So let's go to DV theme builder. And here we can create custom templates. We already have a default template. Here we can add a global header, global body, global footer. So a global header means that this will be displayed all over the website on all pages. If you don't want that, you can create a new template, select build new template. And here you can specify where you want to display this new template. Let's say I want to display it on or posts or specific pages or only specific posts. Really, there are a lot of, lot of options for this. Um, I'm not going to create a new template. I'm just going to create a global header. So if you want to create a global header, just click here and select build global header. And this will open the DV visual builder. So basically you build the header the same way like you would build your pages. Okay, the visual builder also looks a little bit uh, different or maybe not just a little bit, but maybe more. I like it better than the one with the uh, DV4. So for example, here, if you select the settings of the section, all the options displayed on the panel, I think this is much better than uh, those old uh, pop-ups with the old uh, DV4 uh, theme. I think that was uh, a little bit distracting. Here you have a lot of spaces to see what you are building. Okay, so this will be our header. Uh, first, uh, let me just change the background and let's change this to a darker color, maybe this one. I will add a two column rows. And in the first column, let's add a blurb. I am going to turn this blurb into a, so I won't need this text here. For the image, I'm not going to use image, I'm going to use icon. And let's search for a phone. Let's select the phone icon. Okay, let's go to uh, text. And let's change this to colas, something like this. Let's go to design. 
let's select uh, image and let's change the placement and uh, let's select left let's change the icon color to white uh, let's uh, make it a little bit smaller okay so let's make it 15 pixel let's go to title text let's change the color to white and let's change the size to maybe 16. Let's go back to image because uh, the space between the icon and the text is too, too much. So let's, let's add some margin. Okay, so I did a 17 pixel left margin. Okay, let's go to uh, spacing. We can add the same 17 pixel, but in negative. So this will pull the entire module 17 pixel to the uh, to the left. Okay, so in the uh, second column, maybe we could add some icons. Let's add a Facebook icon and maybe a Twitter or X. So these should be side by side. So we could go to row settings and edit the second column. And from here, let's go to advanced and custom CSS. And let's add some custom CSS code. Okay, and now we can go back to the uh, module settings. Let's change the icon color to something like this. Let's change the size to 26 pixels. Uh, for now, let's forget about the uh, spacing and let's just, uh, let's uh, copy the module style. And let's come to the second one and let's paste it. Okay, so now we have the same design. Let's go back to the um, first one. Let's go back to spacing and let's add some right margin, maybe 10 pixels. And if you want to, you could just go to content and change the link of this. Let's go to the section settings, design, spacing. Let's change the top and bottom padding to zero. And here, let's go to the row settings, design, spacing. And let's add maybe 10 pixel to the top and zero to the bottom. Okay, something is still adding some, some padding here. Uh, let's save this for now. Let's go to exit. And when you save the template for the first time, you need to save it here as well. Okay, let's refresh the website. And now we should have this here. Yes. Okay, let's uh, inspect this. And let's see what's causing this. Okay, so this H4 has some margin bottom. Uh, this is, okay, so this module adds a lot of margin here. Okay, so let's go back to the builder, click edit, and let's go here spacing and let's go back here uh, let's go and edit the uh, row spacing and let's uh, 
add a little bit more here. Let's go here. Design spacing and let's add a padding top. And I think it's okay now. So we, we could play around with the spacing to make sure that these elements are in the middle. Uh, click save and let's come back here and let's go to advanced and visibility. And I want to disable this section on phones and tablets. Okay, I only want to display this on desktop. Let's click save. Let's add a new section, a regular section. Uh, let's add uh, maybe this column structure. So in the left column, we should add a logo. Let's select uh, uh, an image module and let's upload our logo file. Okay, so I have this uh, dummy logo here. It's not nice, but it serves the purpose. Uh, again, let's go to settings and the design options of the section. Let's change the uh, padding top and bottom. Uh, maybe we could add a border to the bottom. Make this a little bit lighter. Okay, and on the right side, we should add a navigation. We should have this here. Okay, so we have our navigation. Let's uh, let's align this to the right, and we could change this to uppercase. Uh, let's uh, make the font size a little bit smaller. Let's make the font weight bold or maybe semi bold. Yeah, that's better. We could change the color to a little bit darker. We could add a little bit of top padding to make sure this is in the middle. Okay, let's click save. Let's refresh the website. And now we have this new header, we have the logo, and we have this uh, top top bar. Obviously we could make it a little bit nicer. I just uh, wanted to show you the ropes, the settings you can use. Maybe we could make, this, make these modules a little bit smaller and not, uh, because I think it's a little bit too, too big. Basically it's very easy to build a custom header with, with Divi. It's just like building your pages. So this is all I wanted to show you in this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below the video and I will make sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching.